What's up, everybody? We are in Brisbane, Australia, and we are in a, not gonna lie, we're in a very nice house right now. We have a nice roof over our heads. It's really easy to just to live in this environment. It's almost too easy. It's been really nice. We've just been like, you know, chilling by the pool, sleeping in a bed, showering in a shower, yep. eating uh, in food on the toilet. It's been great. It's been really luxurious. Almost too luxurious. <laughs> we only have another day of living like this until we're we could very well potentially be in a lot of danger. And the living conditions aren't gonna be so amazing. Yeah. Do we wanna explain what we're gonna do? We are going to be surviving in the wilderness in one of the most dangerous parts of the world. It's one of the most dangerous environments in the world. And we are going to be isolating ourselves in the middle of nowhere, the Australian outback and coastline, with no resources, no food, nowhere to sleep. I'm afraid Grayson's gonna eat me, because I'm not gonna eat you. Well, you guys see how much he chows now? Can you vouch for me? Guys, he's a, he's a thick <laughs> yeah. So we've been in Australia for about 10 days now, and we have already had some encounters, even in our nice home that we are staying in here. We uh, saw a rather large spider. Nah. The Huntsman. Bro, that thing is fucking yeah! And then we went to the city, and on the way there, we saw a rather larger spider. I don't think you guys understand how large these spiders are. And then we went to a friend's house who had never had a spider in their house before. And we, and saw, we saw a pretty large spider there as well. Oh my god. Ah! Yeah, it's an oh my god. I'm going back home, guys. So I think we're like spider magnets, which is really scary because mm -hmm. not trying to be a spider magnet. Grace and I have actually done a survival series before that you guys may or may not have seen, but that was in our backyard in New Jersey. New Jersey's like home of like cornfields and meadows and cute little birds. And we still managed to have a tough time there. <laughs> Ow. F uh, yeah, I'm definitely bleeding. Holy sh. Holy sh. What was that? Nah, no way. <laughs> But now we're in Australia, and it's real out here. It's very real out here. It's not even just real, it's like, it's big. Everything's bigger here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of true. Everything is bigger here. So we don't want to waste too much time because we have only a day to prepare ourselves for this survival situation. I know that we kind of look like we just survived in the wild with these beards, but we actually just made it through No Shave November. <laughs> Clap it up. We made it. <laughs> All right. Another thing about Australia, I've been doing some research because Ethan probably hasn't. There are ticks here that carry harmful diseases to human beings. But they also have those in New Jersey, and to prepare for the New Jersey survival series that we did, I shaved my entire body to make sure that I could see if there was a tick on me, because I am rather hairy, and I could lose some ticks in the in the fuzz, if you know what I mean. And this is some serious fuzz we got going on here, so we gotta get rid of it. And it's December 1st, so we need to start preparing ourselves. The first thing that we need to do is delete the fuzz. Thank you to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Ethan, stop touching my beard, please. Ethan, you don't need to touch it. I don't normally massage my beard to begin my grooming routine. Well then, what does your grooming routine consist of? This right here. So I haven't shaved in a very long time, as you can see, but to begin my grooming routine for my face, I like to heat up my face a lot and get it very warm and ready to shave. Dollar Shave Club has you covered for all of your grooming needs. Shower, oral care, deodorants, and most importantly, shaving. So get ready for an incredible smooth shave with their shave starter set. You ready, Gray? Yeah. For a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter for only $5. After that, the restock box ships regular sized products at regular price. Go to dollarshaveclub.com backslash the Dolan Twins to get your starter set for just $5. Ooh, nailed that. I know. Now it's time to get rid of my fuzz. I got rid of a little bit of my fuzz. Let me feel it. I think this is fun. Holy sh! It's pretty smooth. It feels like my ass. There's a fur ball in this thing. Oh. My god. It's pretty intense. I might get ticks in the chin cup. I might get tick chin. Keep the stash though. It's for it's for safety. I'm taking keep, keep, keep the stash. Keep the stash. He's gonna actually keep the stash now. Whoa. How's it look? I feel like I need to like maybe trim it up a little bit. Maybe you just need to like rip it off. You need to shave your face. I'm attached to my beard. Guys, we need to do one final montage of my beard before I get rid of it, please. Dude, please, no. Ricky, please, Ricky. No please. beard montage. Ricky, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, now that our faces are shaved and tick proof, it's time to go survive in the wild. But just shaving our faces is not gonna protect us in the wild. No, it's not. We have no idea what kind of adversities we're gonna face, what creatures, what weather conditions. We can't do this alone. Not without at least some sort of help from a professional. Ooh. 
Yo! How's it going? What's good, bro? Grayson. Ethan. Ethan. Misha. Ethan. Hey, man. It's Kyle. I'm Kyle. Oh, nice to meet you, mate. This is Nick. And Nick is one crazy motherfucker. Guys, this is Nick. Nick, in my opinion, is on the cusp of becoming a professional survivalist here in Australia. I've actually been watching Nick on YouTube for about four years now. You guys know I always talk about how Grayson's obsessed with survival videos and he stays up all night watching them. Well, most of the time he's watching Nick's videos. <laughs> but surviving here in Australia is, is nothing like New Jersey. It's actually very dangerous. Yeah, and when Grayson told me that he wanted to survive in Australia, I said, no way, I'm just doing that with you. And Nick, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, thank uh, you. Thank you for saving my future selves lives. <laughs> I'll take you out, I'll do the best I can, but you guys are still gonna have to like catch whatever we find or make your own shelters. Okay. Okay, so how long have you been doing like survival stuff here in Australia? I've been brought up in the bush, at the beach, doing that kind of stuff since pretty much I was born. I've seen you get into like some really f***ing crazy situations. Yeah. Can you tell us about like some of the crazy situations that you've been in? You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You don't know what you're gonna come across. So I've had some pretty wild experiences. There's a lot of dangerous animals out here and for some reason I like catching them. What's one of the craziest things that's happened to you while you were like out surviving? Oof. Man, there's there's um there's so much stuff like snake bites. You got bit by a snake? Yeah. Was it poisonous? No. So it's a big python that I got bitten by once. Um, Holy shit. Their whole mouth when they open up is just full of like just rows of like little needle teeth, and they're backwards facing too. So let's say it grabs your arm. It's designed to not be able to come back out. Like the teeth go in and under. Oh, so yeah. if you want to get the snake's mouth off your arm, you, rip it. you actually have to like push it back oh, no. in to get it out. And so I've had a few snake bites. Um, stepped on some pretty bad stuff out there. What about spiders? Because we've been in, we've been at home and we've seen so many already. Yeah, and Kyle's scared of spiders, so like really scared. I am too. <laughs> I saw a tiny one and I was freaking out. No, see spiders. Um, I don't know why. I just I'm not scared of spiders. They're fine with me. It's just bats. I'm not that scared of them either. There's bats. Bats. Like, okay. When you go into the bush or the wetlands and they're like hanging upside down from the trees. You, have you ever like had a, a bad experience with spiders or are we fine with that? No, see, when you're walking through places, you, you go through spider webs and stuff. It's just when I don't know what spider is. If I can see it, identify it, yeah. I'm not worried. I've been bitten by big huntsmen before. They're like this big. <laughs> it was on this tree, um, this tree chunk. It was probably like with the legs out and everything, maybe this big. Like they get real big. What? Oh, and so, um, like you can hold them. I get them out of my house every now and again. I kind of slip my hand under the back of it. It was like slow motion. It was like a movie. I was just I just saw its fangs come out. Like two fangs, they just sunk into the top of this finger really deep and I pretty much screamed. I don't know where I went. I'm alive, so it's all good. <laughs> okay. Uh, At the end of the survival series, if we're alive, then it's all good. Jesus, possum awesome. Oh, there's a oh, possum. You're summoning the f***ing <laughs> animals. Oh, uh, wait, there's two of the f***ing. Yeah, oh, like, I'm scared less of a baby and its mother. We're not just like in a park or in a backyard. This is like, this is the wild. Anything can happen. So yeah, I'd keep an eye out. What are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> Holy sh! One last thing. Grace and I, we haven't really told anyone, but we've been vegan for some time now. What's there for a vegan to eat in the Australian wilderness? Well, there's obviously a lot of plants, flowers, plants. berries. Yeah, you just got to know what you're looking for. We expected it to be a little difficult being vegan out in the wild, so we've been going pretty hard with the food lately and eating pretty good. Believe it or not, it's, you're sketch, probably making it uh, even harder on yourselves being vegans. We got it. So this is my last night sleeping in a bed before surviving in the wilderness for two days. I really appreciate this one. I don't even know where or what I'm going to be sleeping on tomorrow night. Alright guys, good night. I will see you in the morning when we get dropped off in the Australian wilderness. Did you shut the light? <laughs> Good night, brother. Good night, brother. Last night of sleep, I'm getting into bed for the next two days. I'm really tempted to pull out of this video. I'm not even kidding. It's we have our birthday coming up. We came to Australia to kind of like enjoy our birthday, and like I don't want anything to go wrong. Last sleep, I get into bed. I'm afraid of a possum. What happens when I see a python? Don't even talk about it. You're getting me worried. I know. All right, I'm going to bed. Say goodnight to everybody. We got up early and we're heading deep into the Australian bush. We have not a bite of food or a drop of water in us.
It is hot out. I want you guys to do this. Like, I want you to make it. So, I've got a few things. I've got a bag. This is going to be a few essential items that you might need to survive. So, for Grayson, I've got this green bag here. And he's got a big knife, some rope, and a headlamp. Now, that knife is going to be really handy. It's got a serrated edge. And it's also got the sharp side. So, that's going to be useful for cutting down trees to build shelter. The rope can help tie things together. There's also a headlamp for when it gets dark. And so, Ethan, for you, i got some duct tape instead of the rope. That's going to be super handy as well. All right. So, for the crew, they got a bit more. We've got some uh, sun safety stuff here long sleeve khaki shirts that's going to help protect the arms and the and the back we've also got this little sleeve for the neck big broad rim hats as well we've also got some booties they're waterproof yeah they're going to be super protective we've also got the snake bite kit safety comes first out here so i think we just suit up we can't really drive any further so we're gonna have to walk in there i got a spot i want to take you to and um and then we can get started you guys ready yeah, I'm as ready as I can be, I think. Yeah. Now that we have our basic survival necessities, the 48-hour countdown clock has begun. One thing that I noticed that from watching survival shows and stuff, people never stress how hard it is to be barefoot. I can't even f walk on this sh I have to do this for two days. That's why I've been going for runs barefoot so that I can kind of like harden up my feet before this. Ethan was getting a pedicure instead of doing that. So. The goal for today, I guess, is to make the best shelter that we could possibly make. I don't even know where I'm going to lay down to go to sleep tonight. When we did the survival challenge in Jersey, it was like our backyard, so we knew the area, but I have no idea where I am And we also right knew now. that if anything went wrong, we could just run into the house, but we are... Nowhere near a house. So what do you what do you suggest we, we do? Yeah, look, I just find water first and then build a shelter. So if you can build somewhere close to a creek or anything like that, water is the most important thing. Even just to swim, if it's not safe to drink, the sun's literally gonna kill us. So we need to find water. Yeah, my mouth's water getting water. dry. Do you feel your feet? Yeah. It's just burning. Gray and I didn't want to cheat it, so we didn't eat or drink anything today. Guess we gotta find something to eat and drink. What is the biggest danger to us right now besides the sun? There's a lot of snakes around here and it's super dry, so they're gonna be chilling under logs and stuff like that where we. Wait, under the we're we walking on? Yeah. Exactly, so <laughs> when we break trail and you're gonna be stepping through, they, they can be hiding under anything. Now the venomous snakes are the ones you wanna be careful of. They're sort of smaller. It is hot out here. I read somewhere that- can I, ooh, I, I need a, I wanna make shoes. Should I just duct tape my feet? You could duct tape like, see this, the bark coming off these trees? Yeah. But like I was just saying, that's where everything's gonna be hiding. So the snakes, the spiders, they're all gonna be hiding under that bark. Dude, I feel like there's definitely at least a couple snakes in there. Bro, I- Scared. Try to get the big snake. piece of bark up there. Uh, uh, how come we're both fine? He's all like, dude. I just stepped on like a. Ah! Why is it so prickly right here? This is like there. exactly what not to do. Wasting energy on making shoes. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's gonna be a poisonous snake in there, and then the video's done. Here, let me hold it. Sit on your ass and let me do it for you. We're gonna put your shoes on. All right, go for it. Oh my. I'm. This is such a waste of time and energy. Dude, dude it's not. We don't have water. That's too tight. Oh, so much better. It looks pretty good, yeah. Oh, these are comfortable. Now I'm dizzy because <laughs> I just did all of that work. So let's get to the creek and get some water. Oh, I should take my phone out of my pocket. Why do you guys hold this? Thank Why you. do you have your phone? Does it feel good when you're walking? Uh, yeah, it's all right. Oh, so much better. See how we're walking uphill. Obviously, water drains downhill. So we should probably try and make our way in this direction and sort of follow the landscape down. So downhill is always water. Go oh, that way. And we're heading like literally directly up the hill. So we should cut across and uh, work our way back down through the bush and try and find, or we can find a little opening up here, try and follow it down. All right, let's get some sticks and cut on through. Just walk through a spider web. Did I, oh sh what kind of spider is this? Got my stick. How you doing? It's a little hot, you yeah. know. Let me film your outfit, I don't think they've seen yet. Nice and protective though. You know, I'm feeling... I'm jealous of those boots, bro, but I got my shoes. I'm kind of feeling better now. Yeah, I can uh, skirt around. Ricky looks pretty comfortable. That's a long stick, man. All right, let's not attract any animals. Got it. You guys want to lead the way? Yeah, sure, I'll lead the way. If we all go single file, then, um, yeah, we shouldn't have to look down too many spider webs. I realize that I'm just stepping on a constant pile of stuff that anything could be hiding in. It's not just the ground. You just gotta keep an eye out, not just where you're stepping. Oh, I got spider webs in the face, bro. I read somewhere that the number one way to get bit by a snake is to step on it. So, Ethan, don't step on it. I'm waiting for the moment that I just hit one of these things and a snake comes squirming out. Ah, oh, dude, I'm literally, oh, I'm literally covered in a spider web Let's right now. Switch, Ethan. It's all over my forehead. There's a spider web. It's in my hair. Is the spider in my hair, bro? Get me the Being on high alert for dangerous animals has quickly started to drain our energy levels. Fear mixed with the heat of the blazing sun is not a good combination. We need to find water fast. 
Yeah, so we're starting to see some green plants growing here, which yeah. is, you know, it looks a bit more lively than back where we were, so that's a good sign of water. I would not want to be walking through here at night. Oh, sh**. <laughs> uh, You're gonna be. We need to make a good shelter so that we don't have to. Bro, I'm camping out in the shelter once we make it. Are those spiders? Are those little spiders? No, they're ants. They, so ants bite your feet if you that's stand on That's an ant's nest. That's a big ant's nest. Holy. What? Why is everything just... 10,000 times bigger in Australia. Holy show! They're coming out. Oh God. I would've taken a seat on that thing. We're comfortable. <laughs> oh sh that's stuck in my foot. Ah, look at that, it's got little spikes all over it. Holy sh what is it, what is it, what is it? Oh my God, what that is was it? so f close. What? It's right there, it's literally just above the stick. What kind of spider is that? Up. I was looking down at snakes and I almost got a spider in my face. Thanks for looking out for me. Dude, the sun is taking a toll on me a lot sooner than I thought it would. Not only is the sun beaming down from above, but it is burning our feet from beneath us. It feels as if we're walking on hot coals. The ground is so bro, it's unbearable. The ground is so hot right now. So we started going downhill. That's a good sign of water. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit dizzy right now. When we find the water, we still have to purify it and make it drinkable. I definitely need to put something in my body soon. I feel like I hear water. I might be hallucinating. Oh yes! There's a creek? Yes! Oh, I gotta dip my feet in. Oh, f oh my feet are on fire. Yes! Woo! Oh. Oh my god. Holy shit, that feels oh. so good. We need to find something that we could keep water inside of. Something I can make a filter with. Because if we can filter this water, we can Dude, drink it's it. It's so hard to think straight when you're this tired and hungry. We got big freshwater eels. Eels? Like they'll, they'll hide under the bank. Oh shit. They get like this stick too. Oh okay, yeah, never that mind. Thick? Teeth, False yeah, they bite. Toes, as soon as especially. you say something like that, I start to think that everything is that. Those are a snake pit. Snakes in there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, go, go. oh my god, what? <laughs> oh my god. What? Got him. You got me. Oh, there's garbage. Oh, litter. That's actually perfect. Dude, this is actually literally perfect. Literally perfect. Literally. <laughs> but this is actually perfect for a water filter. Don't put your mouth on it. Don't put your mouth on it. That's disgusting, bro. I'm gonna cover up my rolls. It should be perfect for a water filter. How do you feel about his cutting skills? I mean, I wouldn't use my leg to cut onto, but... Perfect. I think I'm gonna make a small puncture. Cut a little hole in the cap, which is where the water will flow out of after it's been filtered. This is what we're gonna use as a cup. So you can tell the water is not that clean looking. I mean, it's not. It's honestly not that dirty. Yo, it looks like this. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put some rocks at the bottom just to catch any big debris. Then on top of that, we're gonna do a layer of sand. Right, how do you know you're doing this right? Because I've watched hours of videos on this even. Throw some sand on top of this. This is our next layer of the water filter. We're gonna, Perfect. We're gonna drink this. All right, so what you wanna do is get a piece of cloth. And this is gonna go over the cap. This will be our last line of filtration. Take this piece of cotton, put it around the top, and then screw the cap back on, just like that. So any water that makes it through all the lines of the filter will be the cleanest possible water that we can get. Here I have all the charcoal that I collected while we were in the bush on the burnt trees. Wait, I got charcoal. This is good for purifying water if we if we need it. We should, we should hold on to it. This crushed up will make a great second line of filter. Now one more layer of sand, and I think we're ready to put some water through it. I think this is just making it dirtier. There's oh. a spider, there's a spider, there's a spider right there, right there, right there, right there. Right Right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh my god. Oh shit. Holy sh They sort of like can drop down from trees. I know, I don't even know how you saw that, but. Saved your life. Good eyes, thank you. Good spot. So now what we're gonna do is pour some river water through the filter and back into the cup. When it comes out, it should hopefully look a little more clear than this. You might have to run it through the filter three or four times before it gets really clear, but we need water. How long is this gonna take? Four hours. <laughs> I mean, a little while. So the reason I'm doing this filtration system is because we don't have the use of fire. There's been fire bans in the area. What is that? What the? Holy sh That was a stick. I know, but <laughs> it's still scary. <laughs> All right, back to what I was saying. Do you want to say this? You're probably better. Yeah, yeah, what's been going on with the fires? Yeah, pretty much because it's so hot and dry out here. It sort of starts with one fire and it just spreads. Someone obviously lit a fire and it got out of control. And with the wind and the how dry everything is, it just spreads and basically the whole eastern side of a show was just burning alive. So it's super important that we don't light any fires. You know how dry it's been walking through here. It's gonna be a lot harder surviving without fire. You can cook food, you can put water in it and um, drink it that way, but yeah. You're drinking it? Yummy. Tastes like dirt. I feel like this is a good amount. It looks pretty clear to me. This is a lot more clear than what we had before. How's it taste? 
Are they good? What we gotta do, what we gotta do. I'll take another sip and then it's all yours. Can't wait. It tastes like coconut in the beginning and then it just tastes like mud. Uh. Hello? What? You guys have gorillas here? <laughs> what is that? Kookaburra. When they like see someone. Quiet on set. <laughs> They're just laughing at you. It sounds like a laugh. I need to get off my feet and I need to get into some shade. We need to make this shelter. Once we make the shelter, we can literally just chill in it. Another water bottle. This time there's water in it. I wouldn't trust drinking this. No, don't do it. Should I go for it? Oh, it's f***ing steaming hot. Dude, why is like hot water not refreshing at all? Because it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> there you go, Kyle. The more you know. <laughs> Survival oh, tip still. of the day. Hold up, hold up. I thought it was that? a shoe. It's the sole of a shoe. Dude, I can make a shoe out of that. That's better than tree bark. Oh my god, that feels amazing. We should just take turns like this. What if we cut it in half and then I get the heel and you get the toe and I walk like this and then you can walk like that? Let's do it. Right. Nick, you want a bit of it? No, I'm okay. I don't even want to think about that being on somebody else's foot, but ooh, we need it. This is like the sweaty bottom part of a shoe that gets no air. I wonder why someone ditched it. They probably had foot fungus. Can you take me up? Yeah. Oh, it feels f good already that it's on. Nice. Oh, that literally makes the world of difference. That makes a world of a difference. Looks kind of, yeah. looks kind of cute too. Time. Oh, it feels so good. Looks like you stepped straight out the nail salon. We're going downstream. We're gonna find a nice place to set up camp. Are there a lot of bugs by the stream though? That's one thing I'm afraid about. Maybe we go a little bit farther off yeah, the stream. Yeah, we should be just off the stream. I need to relax like right now. I have no idea what time it is. I don't have a watch, I don't have a phone. But by the sun, hey, but good thing we have a crew. What time is it, guys? It is Wait, three. I wanna, I wanna try to, I wanted to try to guess. I think it's three, and the sun's gonna go down in approximately three and a half hours, so we don't have that much time to make a shelter at all. And the temperature is 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it hasn't let us at all. Cold, cooler. Uh, One degree. Thank you. I have a stinger in me right there? Yeah, I think you got bit. Oh, it tingles when I touch it. What was it? I don't know. Do you think this is a spider bite? Spiders have fangs, that's just one little Bro, it's like starting to tingle. All right, stop, calm I'm down. Calm down, calm down, where, where? Here? On my neck, yeah. Right here? Ow, don't touch it, don't touch it. Yeah. It's starting to make my neck itchy, I'm not even kidding. No, stop. I'm not f***ing around, bro. Right, just, just calm down is what I'm telling you to do. It just started stinging out of nowhere. It looks like it's a sunspot. No, it, dude, it like... What could that be? Could that be a spider bite? It's just one dot, like spiders have fangs, that's you two. Would... No, I'm thinking if it was a bite, it could be like a little wasp. Yeah, if we just calm down, keep walking, and see how you feel. What is that? Guys, I was walking and almost stepped on that and it made me jump. It's huge. Uh-uh. Ah! <laughs> Look at it! Oh Holy God. crap! It's so Bye! Cool. It's kinda cool. Alright, we gotta find somewhere to set up. Heading upstream, we came across an ideal spot to set up camp. At least, we thought it was ideal. It's looks like pretty muddy water. The good thing about this, is that we can use the mud for a lot of things. One, we can use it as mosquito repellent, so we can rub it on our arms and our legs. Also, mud is good for building, and I feel like this is a pretty good place to set up camp. There's a lot of big, long sticks that, that's what she said, have fallen over here that I think are really nice for uh, the kind of shelter I'm trying to build. Not gonna lie, I'm really out of it right now. This way. That looks like a good place. And there's a tire over there. I don't know how the f*** it got there. But maybe we can salvage it and use it for something. Probably not. Maybe it'll make a good seat. Dude, I actually feel like I'm gonna pass out. There's mushrooms over here, but I don't know if they're good for eating. No, they're pretty f***ing hard. Yeah. I'm not gonna take my chances with those. This looks like a very snake-friendly area over here. But by that tire, it looks alright. And we have the mud very close by, so we won't have to transport it very far if we need it. And then... Alright, let's set up. Dude, I'm not even kidding. If a snake was... Says, Sizzling towards me right now, I wouldn't even be able to move. Sizzling? I don't f know. Right. I'm so dead. This could be really handy. What do we use that for? I don't really know. Hmm. I feel like those birds are mocking us. <laughs> it could be a makeshift toilet. <laughs> you can just. <laughs> like that. <sighs> just hey. take a bit you of a. You check for snakes yet. Yeah, you should check for snakes oh, and yeah, spiders. Sorry, you meant to check for snakes first, so. <laughs> get a little tap. Oh, there's a huge spider in there! What? Holy f***! No, I'm not. Come here, come here, come here. No, there's not. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh where'd he go? I'm not pooping there. I'm not pooping there. Fun. We're gonna try to pick up this log together. It's too big to cut, but we can't expend too much energy, so we need to, like, figure it out and do it fast. Come on. What if there's a f***ing snake? Hang on. There's a lot of ants, and there's a lot of little bugs Hey, what the f*** is that? I don't really want to risk touching this thing. A little ant colony right here. Dude, I need- I, I'm honestly about to just pass out in the grass right, right there. One. 
too heavy. Man. Dude, I'm lightheaded. Holy sh! Let's just build a TV. The tire will be enough to get us off the ground. I have an idea what we'll do with that. So we need to go get sticks. We haven't eaten anything in 17 hours and barely had anything to drink at all. We're only on our 10th hour of survival, and I never expected it to be this hard. Ow. Bro, I don't Dude, know if I have the energy. I don't have the energy for this. I've never felt like this exhausted. It's like a dizzy exhaustion, bro. Dude, it's like not even the first night yet, and I feel like, feel like calling it quits. You see that? Even the islands? If we laid out there, I'd feel way safer than laying just on the ground here. I didn't expect to feel like this, especially having done this before. This is what I imagine day seven to feel like. I'm actually like really dizzy. What if one of us gets bit by a poisonous spider while we're sleeping? It's a possibility. Let's just go to that island, see what it's like. There's no way we're carrying stuff across this island. We have to just build shelter over there. I agree. I'm not gonna drive you guys back. You gotta do this. I believe in us. Come on. All right. Get up. Watch out, I got a knife. Oh, I got a knife. Come on. Shut the f up. I just saw a huge lizard right there. Holy sh! It just went down to that hole. And that's where we're trying to sleep. And I think it's the lizard's house. What kind of lizards do they have here? Are they, are they harmful? How big was it? Like this big. That big? Huge. We're climbing that hole right there? Right here. Holy sh! It's a huge hole, oh, bro. My. Spider nest. Everything's coming for me right now. Like this big, I'm not kidding. What? I only saw its tail and it was like, the tail was like this big. Oh, that's a snake? Yeah. I have a feeling it was a snake. His going is uh they run up trees. They don't go into holes that much. But look at that right there. I don't think anything's gonna come up to bother us. This is an ant's nest. Ah! Oh, you guys are Oh, oh my feet. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That whole thing is an ant's nest. We almost slept in an ant's nest. I thought right, so we're about to build camp here. But this is an ant's nest, and you see ants are pretty chill, but when you when you start digging around, especially on top of that nest, they'll come all over you. They're coming out of the ground here. And so they'll crawl all over you and start biting you. That's not what you want. Like right now, I can just feel them running all over my feet. It's a horrible feeling. And like if you're laying here and that goes all over your body, that's not good. Ow! They're biting me right here. There's a nest right here. Dude, they actually hurt too. Okay, yeah, you might want to get those off you. Dude, where do we sleep? I reckon you either have to stay here, which is probably not a good idea, or you could use whatever energy you have left, and we could walk down the creek till it starts to get to salt water. We've been following this creek for a while today, so it'd probably be another hour, hour and a half walk. But the sun's gone down quick, so... What happens when it turns salt water? It's just, like, a lot safer. The snakes, you know, they don't really hang around the salt water, and um, it's not as, like, this place, it opens up a bit. So it's not like the bush. You know, once you get to the salt, all the plants die. It's just the mangroves, and, yeah. Yeah, a bit more open. That could be a perfect place for you guys to look around tomorrow. I mean, it sounds better, better than it's what we've seen to today. Tonight. I mean, we don't have any energy to build anything right now, and even building here doesn't keep us safe from obviously the ants, the spiders, the snakes. I say we just go for it. Seems like our only option now. Everyone watching probably just wants to see you build like an epic shelter and stuff, but that's just not how it is. Like, it doesn't work that easy. It's hard. Yeah, we could go there now, but we'd have to go quick. All right, I say we go. Let's go for it. Holy sh dude, those bites are no joke. Is that quicksand? Holy sh There's no way I'll do this again. This is miserable! Ah! 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 I don't think I can go on.